Hey man, do you recommend doing UWorld random or system wise? Thanks. This is a very popular question, very easy question for me to answer. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group. The link is also down below. Now let's start the fucking question. Safa asks about doing UWorld random versus subject specific. And I said this is a fairly easy question to answer because, and I say that because for most of you watching this, you're going to be scoring different ranges. You're going to be differing lengths of time out from your exam. You're going to have differing strengths and weaknesses. So when we talk about this high degree of variability, that can sometimes create complexity in how I can give advice concretely. Doing UWorld random mode is almost always ideal for most students at most times. Okay, so that's why it's an easier type of question. Doing questions on random increases the chance that you're going to remember the content. Okay, so you need to see things as puzzle pieces. You need to literally get a question on rheumatic heart disease, then placenta previa, then cystic fibrosis. And so you're getting random factoids, random concepts repeated and reinforced at varying time frames, And that allows you to remember the material the best. Now, some students say, but really? Like, I feel personally, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of, of some students who will have questions. Some students believe that if they do questions subject specific, that that is how they really can reinforce the material on the spot and just finally get it down. And what I can tell you is that it's often short lived. Okay, so if you get a question wrong on rheumatic heart disease today, and then you're doing question subject specific, and then three hours later or tomorrow, you get the question, the next question right on rheumatic heart disease, that means less than if you get that question three weeks later because you're doing it you world on random. So for the purpose of reinforcement, if you are seeing questions at varying lengths, that increases the chance that you're going to remember the content for your exam, okay? When you do subject specific, it's more of my observation with students is it's more transient, is they might know their cardio well for like a week, and then three weeks later, they remember jack fucking shit, okay? So you need to see questions on random. Okay, so there's going to be variability. I said for most students at most times, random is superior to subject specific. There's a time and place for subject specific, of course, okay? If you're, let's say, doing classes and you're going to have a, a, a test in school on GI coming up and you're worried that you're going to fail, okay? We could have you do subject specific questions on GI, let's say from a Q bank like USMLE RX, okay? Or we could possibly entertain the idea of doing UWorld for the subject specific if, let's say, you're closer to your USMLE and you haven't done those questions yet, okay? So there is going to be, there are going to be circumstances in which subject specific has a time and place, okay? But overall, most of the time for most students, random mode is going to increase the chance that you retain that material for the exam, okay? People are going to have different points of view, that's okay, but in my observation as a tutor for the past nine years, I've been doing this daily, students retain material best when they see it in random mode, okay? That's the short answer to the question. It's never a cookie cutter, but that's for most students, okay? I'm obviously going to make more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.